Former heavyweight king Mike Tyson says jumping back in the ring at 57 was a no-brainer, shrugging off recent flack about being too old for the fight game. At a presser in New York hyping his upcoming scrap with YouTuber Jake Paul, Tyson owned up to the toll trainings taken on him. But the dude who ruled the heavyweight scene in the 80s and 90s insists he's cool with lacing up again, nearly two decades after his last pro fight in 2005. Tyson, hitting 58 this June, is set to square off with 27-year-old Paul in a pro bout of eight two-minute rounds greenlit by Texas boxing authorities. Yet some boxing community members, like former heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder, have aired their beef with the match voicing worries Tyson could get hurt. The Iron Neck brushed off those doubts when quizzed. Meanwhile, Tyson's got zero beef with his much younger opponent. But do you guys get the power still packed by this legendary ex-pugilist? Mike Tyson, known as one of the world's top boxers, had a killer punch back in the day. Why is he called Iron Neck? How strong is Tyson's punch? His international moniker, Iron Mike, nods to his iron-like physique. Some press prefer the baddest man on earth, pointing to his notorious temper in and out of the ring. This nickname's about Tyson's neck. Extra thick at 20 inches, 50 centimeter meter, looking solid as a rock. scales at 86 kilo showed his natural strength and skill by age 12. Among his coaches were Custy Motto and Teddy Atlas. The unit of measure here is joules, an energy unit. Turns out Mike Tyson's punch might pack up to 1,600 joules. That beats one of the heaviest hitters, Rocky Marciano, with 1,256 joules. It's also said Tyson's punch equals getting shot by 13 people with 22 caliber pistols wearing a bulletproof vest, or like falling from a height of 2.1 meters. With that kind of power, he became the world's top boxer. Fans are raising eyebrows at the morality of this fight, Jake Tony Bellew included. He's even said he can't fathom the danger, given Mike Tyson's 30 years older than a prime fit Jake Paul, who's fresh off back-to-back -back KO wins against Andre August and Ryan Borland. This showdown's gonna mark almost two decades since Tyson's last dance in the pro boxing ring, where he took an L from Ireland's Kevin McBride. While the moral debate rages among fans, Nearly everyone gets why both sides said yes to this clash with its rumored hefty payday. Bellew's waiting to see if his predictions play out when the Paul Tyson fight goes down on July 20th, 2024. 